Briefing newsmen, the State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nehihari, said six persons, including a nursing mother, have been rescued through the collaborative efforts of the police, the army, the vigilante, local hunters, and other security operatives who are currently intensifying on efforts to clamp down on the kidnappers. He reiterated the state government's other commitment to ensure the safe release of all those still held captive by the adopters. I'm pleased to inform the people and Nigerians that uh, six people have been rescued in the last uh, 24 hours. A woman, a nursing mother with her baby, one girl about six years old, and uh, siblings are born the girl between the age of two and five. These people have been rescued, and the operation Bush Combin is still ongoing. The commissioner sued for the synergy and support of Edo people to apprehend the perpetrators of the Edo train station attack. I told you before that one person had been uh, arrested. You know, I think. Um, that information has gone around and everybody's aware of that. I think a couple of uh, other suspects who have been arrested, who were formally declared wanted with the kidnapping cases in that, uh, in the Edo Central area. They too are helping with the police investigation. We're also appealing to Edo people to, if they see anything, they should say something. And I also want to also reassure the victims' families that the uh, Edo State government is taking this very seriously. And I will believe we have cordoned off a huge part of the forest. And uh, because, like I said earlier, nobody knows our forest more than our hunters or vigilante men. Out of the 30 persons adopted by government at the Edo train station in Igweben last week Saturday, 24 of the victims are still in the kidnappers' den. Jude Aweke, reporting for VOS TV News, Benin.